the appearance trophies before I hand over to Tim. So we've got quite a few of these. First of all, 50 appearances, Sophie Cook. Oh, I don't know. Uh, 50 appearances, Constance Canning. <laughs> okay, we'll take that for a bit. Erica Hall. Adelaide Mott. Not here. Not here. Ella Stevenson. Not here. Not here. <laughs> Danielle Homer. Yeah. Okay, and then a special trophy. Uh, this is a hundred goals, but Sophie Rock was the first ladies and girls player to score a hundred goals for the club. Unfortunately, she's been overtaken now, haven't you? So you've got something to catch up. I think Hannah's got about 108 now. Okay. Well done, Sophie. Right, I'll hand over to Tim. Okay, thank you very much, Peter. So, I uh, just want to say, first of all, really, really well done to all of the under-14 girls. Fortunately, some of them haven't been able to make it today. Um, but we want to give some uh, additional awards. Uh, but I also want to say, and I want you girls to just put a round of applause in for your parents, those people who get you to the games every week, and the people who come and support you. So, a big round of applause for your parents, please. Thank you. Um, Under-14s have, again, had a good season this year. Um, done very well in the under-14 section. They, had, they got the runners-up position, unfortunately still second to Norwich City. Uh, however, I do want to just acknowledge, and I think Chris and uh, Richard would say the same, um, some of the games that they played against Norwich City this year, we have been that close to them. We've drawn with them, we lost 5-4 to them when really we deserved to win it. So I think the belief factor has changed with the under-14s. I think we now know if we play our football, we're good enough to beat that team. Uh, however, I think it's very, very um, credible, and I think we're all very proud of you under achieving that runners-up position this year. So, again, everyone give the under-14s as a team a round of applause for that, please. So, uh, first of all, we're going to do the individual awards, and uh, I'm going to hand over to Richard for a second, because Richard's going to do the manager and the coaches' awards, uh, and then we will do some other individual awards, and then obviously award the special um, trophies to each of the, each of the uh, girls as well. So first of all, just pass over to Richard for the Manager's Award. Cheers, Tim. <laughs> I had the pleasure of uh, picking two players this season, one for Manager's Player and one for Coach's Player of the season. Uh, we'll start with Manager's Player. Um, she's not actually here. <laughs> but Manager's Player is Ella Stevenson. <laughs> right, Coach's Player. Um, I believe this is an award is going to go to someone who's not normally recognised. Um, normally gets left out of the bag, um, sometimes little to do, but when she does do something, she does it really well. So this is Louise Pritchett. Woo! Well Just making sure you're awake. Okay, the, the next award that uh, we're going to present <laughs> is to, uh, she's already had one actually, but it's Sophie Rock. Uh, we have a further award for 100 goals from the, uh, the club and uh, also uh, a second award because obviously she was the golden boot for the under 14 team this year. So, uh, Sophie Rock, if you'd like to come and collect your trophies. You'll notice we've actually switched, switched the presenters uh, for these trophies. Um, Richard, the, the manager coach, was obviously right to do the first two trophies. But Chris has actually uh, been with us for three years or more now, has managed the club and also coached the club. We are going to say a bit more about Chris in a little while, um, but that's why this year it's only right that he's presenting the rest of these trophies to the girls. So uh, the next one we'd like to present is to the most improved player of the year. Unfortunately, I don't think she's here at the moment. Um, but, uh, girls, let's put the hands together for uh, Rhiannon McKibben. McKibben. Rhiannon has come for, through in amazingly over the last two or three seasons. When she came to the club, she wouldn't mind us saying she could hardly kick a ball. Um, her improvement has been phenomenal over the last two years, so I think that's a really well-deserved award for Rhiannon, and we'll look forward to giving that to her in due course. The next presentation, again, I don't think we've got her here. We've got a few problems today with some of these people, um, is for the Players' Player of the Year. 
and that actually goes this year to Beth Evans. Okay, so again, we'll make sure that she gets that. I think we'll have to have a mini presentation ceremony at um, training on Tuesday night, Richard, okay, for these people. Which leaves us with, um, in many ways, I think the most important trophies. I think it's fantastic getting individual awards, um, and those girls have worked really hard for it. But I think it's also important to recognise that nobody gets an individual award without the rest of the team around them doing their work as well. So these are really, really special awards as far as I'm concerned. Um, and what we're going to do is ask you to come and collect the trophies. We're not going to wade through making sure the right names are with the right people. We'll sort them out in a minute. But I'm going to ask you to come forward and get your trophies individually. So first of all, um, the Wizzy Winger, could we have Erica step forward, please? They're picking up their own trophy from the club. They're also picking up the uh, runners-up trophies from the league as well. Okay, second, if we have Catherine step forward. Well done, Catherine. Superb. Utility player, played in several positions this year. Next, we can have the midfield dynamo, Lisa. Another utility player, I think she's played in defence, midfield, I think she's even played centre forward at one stage. Um, if Danny could step forward, please. Fantastic season, Danny, well done. If we could then have Titch, who has also played in a number of positions this year. So, uh, Titch step forward. <laughs> <laughs> Titch, you stuck to her chair. <laughs> well done, Titch. Round of applause for Titch, everyone, please. Well played. <laughs> if we could then have goalkeeper extraordinaire, Louise, if you'd like to step forward and collect your trophies as well, please. <laughs> and then if we could have Sophie Rock to come and collect your trophy. If you could remain with us, Sophie, please. Yeah, put that. And uh, finally, if we could have a round of applause for your captain, Sophie Cook, please. Okay, I'm now. Oh. Right, now going to. We have just got a, a couple of other presentations that we want to do. Has it, have all the girls had their trophies? I think they have, haven't they? Yeah. Good, no one's turned up while we've been doing this. So uh, what I'd like to do now, we have got one or two extra things we just want to say. So I'm just going to hand over to um, Sophie, who wanted to say a few words today and uh, give a couple of things out on behalf of the team. So over to you, Sophie. Great. Right, um, we've all been organised this year by a few people, and there's a lot of people that don't get as much thanks as they should get. Um, so we've just got a few presentations to make to the most important people of the team who create, I don't know, just create the team, pretty much. So the first one is for our manager, Richard. Um, Richard just is at training every week and obviously puts us into order. And then on Saturdays, obviously, managers are. So, yeah, if you want to put your hands together for Richard. Thank you. Let's have a picture. Let's have a picture. Okay, our second one is... I think Sophie's going to present it. So, um, this one is for Paul. He comes training every Tuesday and his utmost matches. And yeah, thank you for helping us. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, this is one that no one else will know about, but um, Steve and Amanda Rock do a lot of, well, they do a lot of work for the finance of our team. So I've just got a little something for Amanda if she wants to come and collect it. Um, this is, um, 
Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hello. Hi. There's somebody in this club who doesn't get much recognition but does a lot for us and is we wouldn't be able to do what we do do without him. So I'd like to say thank you very much to Tim. We don't actually have anything for you, but but um, yeah, we don't have anything yet. But you might get something some other time. <laughs> You've said enough. Thank you, Rocky. Uh, right on with the presentations. Thank you anyway. Um, no, uh, yeah, before we do, <laughs> Sophie's going to do one other, but we just had Beth turn. That was fantastic to see you, Beth, and I know you were doing other things today, so thank you very much for coming along. Um, we would like to uh, make a presentation to you. I'm going to ask Richard to step forward as um, the manager and Chris together. You're both going to have to shake a hand here, um, but you actually won this year the Players Player of the Year, so step forward and receive your trophy. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll, I'll pass back to um, Sophie because there is one final award that we want to make, very, very important award this year. Okay, um, me and Sophie have been in this team for a long time now. Um, and there's one person that has been with us for the last few years and unfortunately we'll be from him next year um, because he's going to university. Um, so do you want to put your hands together for Chris? We've just got a little something for him to say thank you for everything he's done. Now I know uh, Chris wants to say a few words. Uh, we have got two final trophies to present, um, and that is uh, back to Beth Evans for her player. Uh, sorry, for as player of the season, but also she's performed her role as vice captain this year. So if you'd like to step forward, Beth, and uh, take that from us. So thank you very much, and I will try and shake your hand. Okay, thank you. Right, and uh, finally Sophie Cook, you didn't come and get your trophy, so captain of the club. Come and get your trophy. Oh, did, you? <laughs> oh right, okay. Yeah. We've got two. Oh, thank you. I think finally, um, I just do want to say a huge well done to all the girls. It's not just about playing football, it's also about the uh, the fun they have on uh, training on a Tuesday, etc, etc. Okay. Rich has done a great job this year with the uh, the coaching and the training and the managing, but he's always been supported, as Sophie says, by, by Chris. Um, and Chris has just asked to have a few words at the end of this uh, session today because we do have to wave goodbye to him. Um, well, I think it's on Tuesday night, isn't it? So uh, over to Chris for the, uh, the final few words. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a really great few years coaching all you lot, and I do have a few thank yous. First of all, to people in the club who don't get enough recognition, like Peter and Mel, who do a lot to keep the club going. Secondly, to all the parents who've just been really supportive all the three years and a great help all the way. And most importantly, to you lot sitting in front of us and the ones who aren't here today, like Tegan and Connie and everyone else. You've just been great for three years and I'm going to miss you loads. Okay, thank you, Chris. Um, I think unless anyone's aware of anything else, that is it. So uh, well done again, girls. Well done, parents, for all your support. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Richard and Paul. And uh, as I say, everyone else who helps with the club, um, thank you very much. I'll just say a little thank you as well to um, Kevin Swan there, because uh, we haven't got an under-17 presentation today. Um, but Kevin actually does a huge amount of work behind the scenes for the uh, women's and girls. And again, the women's and girls would not exist. Um, without Kevin for what he's done over the last couple of years. So if we just put our hands together and say a big thank you to Kevin as well. Okay. So thank you everyone and I think that's bang on 12.30. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thanks Dave.